the kinky sex life of Himalayan tribes. Without doubt, when we talk about marriage, the first picture that comes into our mind is always a man and a woman. Nevertheless, it's rare to picture two or more men and a woman much less brothers. However, a tribe in the Himalayan region of Nepal has proven us wrong by traditional which involves same brothers marrying one wife, and this form of marriage is often called polyandry. The reason is because, this marriage serves as a means of survival mainly for families who own very small portions of land. Therefore by so doing, this kind of marriage is done in order to retain the property in the family. However, sometimes the women may firstly marry the eldest, so that when the other brothers come of age, they can now marry her and they all will start living together in the same house. Well, in their family setting, there's nothing like jealousy amongst the brothers, since they are all engaging in this as a means of survival. In addition, it also helps them prevent having too many children since there's no much land. However when any of her husband dies, the women feel that she's not alone, since the other brother of the deceased are still alive. Meanwhile with this practice, there's this feeling that their children will survive better, and also a brighter future is guaranteed according to them. But nevertheless, this cultural practice is gradually dying as the world is becoming more civilized. A brief general description of polyandry in Himalayan tribes is necessary in order to provide a context for that which follows. In this society a polyandrous union occurs when a woman goes through a marriage ceremony with the eldest of a group of brothers, all of whom thereupon become the woman's husbands. Subsequent wives may also be taken, and in fact usually are. If so, each wife is individually married in a ceremony with the eldest brother, or, if the woman has been previously married, she simply moves in with the brothers, after necessary arrangements regarding bride price have been made with her previous husband S, or with her family of orientation. The new wife is shared, along with her co-wives, by all of the brothers unless one or more brothers wish to break away from the joint family. No brother can remain a member of the joint family and claim exclusive rights to a wife nor can he do so and claim exclusive rights to land, houses, cattle, clientele, etc., for in all of these respects, as in the case of their relationships with wives, children, and parents, brothers are regarded as equivalent. The eldest brother dominates with respect to the wife or wives, as he does in other domestic matters, but he has no exclusive rights, sexual, reproductive, or otherwise. A woman considers all of the brothers to be her husbands, children recognize the group of brothers as their fathers, they address all of them as father, and the sons inherit from all as a group without regard to paternity or maternity within the polyandrous family. In cases of division of the patrimony, special portions may be given to the eldest, and sometimes the youngest as well, of the brothers. If the family is divided while the children are young and unmarried, paternity may be assigned by lot. By mother's designation, she is supposed to assign paternity to the first husband who had intimate relations with her after her last period prior to the child's conception, or by order of birth, whereby the eldest child is attributed to the eldest father, the second child the next eldest father, and so on in a sequence which rotates back to the eldest father to begin again if the number of children exceeds the number of fathers. Physical resemblance between a child and a particular father may also be a basis for assigning paternity. In cases of familial fission, wives are assigned their husbands by preference and agreement wherein affection, relative age, and marriage sequence, as well as maternity, i.e., trying to keep mothers together with their young children, are likely to be taken into account. This latter factor also affects the designation of children's paternity in that the child of a favored wife may be assigned the paternity of the husband who favors her. Such familial fission among brothers is, however, rare and is rarer still after children have been born. All property is owned jointly by male members of the patrilineal, patrilical extended family. If property is divided among brothers, they usually receive equal shares, although in some regions, as indicated above, the eldest and sometimes the youngest may receive special shares. Normally brothers continue to hold the patrimony in common, and among non-polyandrous groups division occurs in the next generation, among patrilateral parallel cousins. The eldest active male dominates in the joint family but cannot compel younger men to remain within it. 
Marriage takes place within the caste and outside the sib and mother's sib. It entails payment of a bride price which must be returned if the marriage is dissolved, as it can be by either party, unless in the dissolution the husband is clearly at fault. Where dowry is used it is exceptional and evidently of recent origin, having diffused from the plains as an aspect of status emulation of plains people. A man's initial marriage should always be to a previously unmarried woman selected by his parents in consultation with a priest. The initial marriage of a man or a woman should always be effected through a formal marriage ceremony, and rules of exogamy and endogamy must be scrupulously observed. Subsequent marriages for both sexes need not be ceremonialized, and rules of exogamy and endogamy are occasionally contravened. In Menandrus Gavul, Leveret is the rule upon a husband's death, and repayment of the bride price must be made to his family if his wife wishes to go elsewhere. Although in John Zarbawa, fraternal polyandry is the ideal and, as described by Majunda, is also the common form of marriage, it is not a system wherein a group of brothers necessarily or even usually shares a single wife. Neither in the history of any particular family or individual, nor at any given moment in any community, is classic fraternal polyandry, such as that described for the Aravas of central Kerala by Ayopan, likely to be the only form of the domestic group. Monogamy, polygyny, and fraternal polyandry, including a combination of polyandry and polygyny approximating fraternal group marriage, appear in the same villages and even in the same lineages. Moreover, as Majumda has observed more recently, the types of family referred to are not stable, and there is a constant shift from one type to the other due to frequency of divorce and of taking multiple wives, and even a polyandrous and polygynous family may be reduced to monogamous unions. In the two Jornzar Bawa villages for which figures are available, Lahari and Bela, it is Himalayan polyandry reported that of a total of 146 domestic units, 44% are polyandrous, 20% are polygynous, and 36% are monogamous. For one of the villages, Lahari, Majumda gives figures showing that while 49% of the families are polyandrous, 61% of those unions had as many, or more, wives as husbands. Note that a plurality of husbands constituted polyandry, and the number of wives was considered irrelevant in Majumda's terminology at that time, except in the case of polygyny where there was only one husband. Subsequent to his report on Lahari, Majumda coined the term polygynandry to refer to any marital union involving a multiplicity of both husbands and wives. Theretofore he, like his students and colleagues, had called all multiple husband unions polyandrous regardless of the number of wives. Applying this newer terminology to the village of Bela, Majumda reported 89 marital unions, of which 33% were polygynandrous, 9% polyandrous, 25% polygynous, and 34% monogamous. The only other precise figures available for marital arrangements in John Zarbawa are those provided by Jain, based on a sample of 593 married women comprising all of the currently married women in three families in each of three villages in each cart or administrative subdivision of John Zarbawa.